we do programming, we strive to be innovators in programming and to move beyond what many people would view as a traditional historic house museum with velvet stanchions and a musty old tour, really try to do much more engaging programming to engage the community. Buildings that are loved mm -hmm. and are used have a much better future than buildings that are not loved. So we want to we want to have our own buildings in active use by the community. At the same time, part of our mission is to expand the number of people who are engaged in preservation. And in this regard, we're focused on using both our our historic sites, the 27 that we were just speaking of, but also our national treasure portfolio, the targets of these advocacy campaigns to engage people. There, Our research tells us there are 15 million people in the United States today who are already doing preservation work. And what's exciting to me about that cohort is that their average age is 35 and they're as diverse as the United States which is in pretty stark contrast to the traditional members of the National Trust and, and to most membership organizations, which tend to skew older and more Caucasian. So I think it speaks to a very bright future for our movement. Our challenge and opportunity is, is to engage these people.